hello and welcome back so so far application looks nice and it's also very functional to an extent we can answer questions what temperature does water boil at water boils at 100 degrees celsius we can use our 50 50 lifelines to take away two wrong options so if i click this now i should take away two wrong options but should not take away william shakespeare and another wrong one because William Shakespeare is the answer to this question so use that and we have these two left and this is the correct answer we can use our 50 50s sorry our hints to take away one wrong option I can use another one and this is the answer which is the only mammal that can't jump that's the elephant I can use use and I can also use of the last one and we have the elephant remain. So the goal of this video is to add functionality to our timer because currently this 215 you see is just static text there. So without waiting, wasting time, let's jump into the code. So over in my source folder in components, in the quiz folder, in the play component, we'll be adding the method called start timer, which will be used to create and handle our time. So the first thing we need to do is, or we'll do is up in our constructor just below the state. I'll create an interval variable down here. So this dot interval, and it's going to be null initially. This is where we'll store our, in our interval for our timer. So down just above our render, we will define our start timer method. Now, in our start timer method, we'll create a variable called countdown time. So, const countdown time, and it's going to be equal to date dot now, getting the current time, and adding the amount of time or the duration of our quiz to it. And for now, just add 30 seconds, and 30 seconds is equal to 30 thousand milliseconds because a second is equal to 1000 milliseconds so 30,000 milliseconds is 30 seconds for our timer now our interval so this dot interval is going to be equal to a call to set interval now the set interval method takes into arguments the first argument is a callback function with code to execute and the second argument is an interval which will run that function within that interval so we want it to run every one second which is a thousand milliseconds so every one thousand milliseconds the contents of our callback function here will run and this is basically where we'll do our timer so the next thing we'll do is to get the current time so const now is going to be equal to new date and also we'll get the distance so distance that's the where we'll be counting down to. It's going to be countdown time, countdown time minus now. Now we need to get our seconds and minutes. So const minutes is going to be called to dividing the distance, not dividing, but getting the remainder of the distance from our time. So distance mode. 1000 times 60 times 60 and then dividing that by the number of milliseconds there are in a in a minute which is equal to 1000 times 60 now i'm going to just surround this entire thing with math.floor so math.floor it's going to surround the entire thing and then uh uh what they call it our distance is going to be surrounded by parentheses here too now our second is going to be similar to this so I'll just duplicate this line and this will be seconds but for seconds we'll have just 1000 here and not 1000 times 60 and we'll get rid of 160 here and this will be seconds okay we have that so now i want to check if the user still has time and if he has time we keep showing up or updating the 
seconds and minutes and if it does not have time everything just gets set to zero so if distance is less than zero that means the time is up so we want to call we want to clear our interval first of all so clear interval passing in this dot interval which is the interval we want to clear and then we want to update our state by calling this dot set state now on our state we have a time variable here a time object so that's what we'll be updating so down here time now is going to be an object which will have seconds and minutes so minutes will be zero and seconds will be zero also and there should be a colon here now after our call to this dot set state when the quiz is over i want to just make a simple alert and then redirect to the home page so we'll alert quiz has ended and then this dot props dot history dot push to the home page and then if the user still has time if the user does not have time we we'll clear the interval set our state and redirect to the home page else if the user still has time we simply want to update the time on the user interface for our user so this dot set state where time dot minutes gets set to the current minutes and the seconds get set to the seconds the user has and that's it for our start timer method now to next thing we we'll do is to call that method as soon as our component loads so up in component did mount here to call this dot start timer to start our timer and the last thing we need to do is to replace this static time value here with the current the time from our state so we'll have time dot minutes colon time dot seconds now just pull up or pull out the time state from our state up here but before i do that i'll just put this on separate lines just to make it easier to read because it's getting quite long so we also have time here and this should be like this so if i've done everything right we should see our time are working on our page now when we visit our application so you can see our time is counting down now I'm going to reload the page. And you can see it's counting down from 30, though it takes about a second or two before it displays, but it's counting down. So when it ends, our quiz should, when it elapses, our quiz should end. So I'll just keep playing. 100 degrees Celsius, um, use 50-50 William Shakespeare, um, the crocodile swallow the an alarm clock. We have nine seconds remaining. The elephant cannot jump use a hint and um, Sherlock Holmes and our time is up we we'll get our alert and if I click OK it should take us back to the home page so very good we are back to our home page but 30 seconds is quite small for our timer so I'll just raise the time up to 3 minutes and 3 minutes is 180,000 milliseconds so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it please leave a like leave a comment let me know what you think about this video and thanks for watching.